okay guys so the ingredients are so so simple you just need some millets flour some pepper red pepper black some cloves some wintia pepper <laughs> anything that you really have at home okay just add it and it's gonna good it's gonna be good and some ginger you just blend it together and you see if it's very well i just used to because i just didn't want any wintia pepper <laughs> In my full life, you understand me, right? Mm -hmm. So you just see if it's very, very, very nicely. This particular recipe, you know, the pepper is too much. So make sure you don't use a lot of pepper. Eh? When I was done, no, it was so good. It was exactly like the Ghana full I used to buy. But the pepper was too much. I was like, oh, oh so please don't use too much pepper. It was good. I still have some in the fridge. Anyway, you just have to mix it together very nicely of course be calm be calming down okay don't like panic if it's too when it's thickening it up and it looks lumpy just be patient it will still get smooth later on like this and you just cover it up and leave it for the next day like 24 hours you can even do it maybe two hours later but it's better when it ferments well it will look like this Transfer it into uh, your pan and you're going to put it on the fire. Of course. You have to mix it up like you are driving bangu and uh -huh, exactly like this. Ah, the result is going to be good. Oh, trust me. The result is going to be good. If you feel like it's too hard, you just add a little bit of water. You leave it on the fire just a little bit. And you just mix it up. Okay. So you get a very soft texture like this one. You will know when it's ready obviously you would just know because the color will change and stuff like that yeah make sure it's it's as soft as this one i didn't really measure the recipe because it's just full out uh, two cups three cups what is that? just add any amount you feel like it's gonna be okay for you like for a family of two one three you understand yes so you're just going to make it into a ball set your other millets this one is fresh no pepper or anything in it you know the dry one and you just make it into a ball and that's it and if you want to store it into the in the refrigerator you just have to make it into a ball like this store it in the refrigerator in the fridge okay yeah in the freezer also and you just use it anytime you want to blend it I wanted it to feel like the Ghanaian one I used to eat though. <laughs> so I didn't even blend it with a blender. I used my spoon, mixed it up so it was a little bit smooth, a little bit lumpy because that's how I just like mine. Added some sugar. Ugh. This thing was good, but the pepper was too much. So I don't add too much pepper and too much gloves and stuff like that in the winter because it's going to be bitter later on. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. See you next time. Bye bye. I can't be with you. Love you. Bye.